So, in this video, we are going to see about the ECG machine which came in for two complaints. One is battery is not charging and another one is display is not responding and display is not coming. Insert. And I'll insert my power plug. And as you can see, there's a there's three indicators, but it is showing this one, which is AC, and this one is for battery center one, which is not coming, and the other one is battery. So only one light is on. So this machine is working in AC. Let's switch it on. But there is no response. So let's remove the main board and see what is happening. And uh, if there is any any shutter circuit or uh, something. And remove the power plug. Basically, if the display is issue, there is a possibility of two things. One is uh, one is display itself, and another one is display driver board. Or uh, maybe sometimes it will be in uh, main board as well. And first, what I'm going to do is just to open the open the device and uh, take the main board out and see under the microscope uh, for battery repair, battery uh, charging repair, and then we will do. Uh, the display Okay, first thing first, so there is a main door. And this one is the battery connector. This is the battery connector. And yes, we have a power source. So this might be an issue. This is the battery connector. And one is the feedback. And There is no door locks and components. Yeah, I see that uh, fuse and a fuse if you have you know, if you have no fuse you can just shut it out and you'll be fine. Let's 
Now, problem with battery issue. All right, now we. Uh, put the power plug on and see what will happen.
and yes, we have lights on on both sides. So the problem with battery charging is, is finished. So now what we can focus uh, is uh, uh, does it responding and when I press the start button when I press the power on button it's not responding the screen is black. So before that I need to check because um, uh, because they they use this machine last like uh, uh, like seven to ten months ago, and they said company people want to want to uh, replace the entire main board. That is why I am uh, they are approaching me, and uh, now we will see and we will remove this keypad and see what is inside because this sometimes uh, what will happen is in in this uh, this type of keypad there will be a um, corrosion or uh, uh, dust will be there that will make this issue because the key is not responding I guess if if the key is responding well the machine will be on or else we will be, will be, uh, will be saying like for example if, uh, if we are switching on the machine uh, the backlight if the backlight is not working then uh, the same issue will be there but before that what what we can do is just remove this keypad and see what is inside and if, if there is any, any dust or uh, corrosion is there we can clean it up and uh, close it again and see what is happening what will happen and let's see so this is the thing I told if there is any corrosion or something it won't work but now this keypad is clean So no need to worry about it and these things are also fine so I'll just clean it up and, and put it back to the machine and see how it responds so after cleaning it is working but display is uh, not coming let me switch it on again yes it is coming and key is responding well so the problem is with uh, something else see key is responding So the problem might be with uh, display IC or, or display itself. So I'll open this up and see under the thermal cam for any heating spots is there or not. If it is not there we will we'll check uh, that uh, display IC and then see what will happen. So first remove this display and see. And when I check this display deeply, you can see some marks like it is, it was made by physically or something, you can see it here. So there might be a chances with the display itself. Uh, if it's so, we have to change this display, entire display. So and I didn't find any heating spot here because I saw my earlier uh, videos if the display is, uh, is in complaint there will be a feedback in, in heat like uh, in this display IC or caps or comparators or something 
uh, will be heated like uh, like 135 degree to uh, uh, 200 degree celsius so so it is not happening it was in happening so so there might be chances with the display itself because display is broken physically damaged here uh, in this lower part of display so next next step what i am going to do is uh, just order the display and see or else if i have a same machine uh, just just interchange the display and see what will happen if the display is not uh, is uh, if the display is working then we will order order one new display and change it back to the machine and uh, okay whatever it is we find the complaint with charging circuit and uh, we rectified it so that is enough so uh, the uh, the problem was rectified with the charging circuit because customer told uh, the company people uh, as them uh, 45000 for the main board uh, because they they said uh, the charging issue was there and uh, they said the company people said uh, there will be a board issue, so they, they have to change the entire board. Um, so it will take uh, 45,000. And then customer approached me and I said, uh, okay, let's try it. And, and yes, we, we finished that uh, charging circuit issue. And second thing is, uh, they might be heated with, that, that display might be heated with something, something like, uh, like a sharpened, uh, like, uh, like whatever scissors or, uh, or you know uh, there will be a multiple chances of, uh, of hitting hitting that display and the display and, and second thing is uh, the power button was in responding and we cleaned the, uh, the uh, power bow I mean uh, that keypad and it, it, it is working now so third thing is the display and as I told you earlier uh, this will be a um, uh, physical damage so we should change it before changing the display entire display i should confirm with another another board or another machine uh, with the same display and uh, put it uh, put it here and if it's fine then we will order uh, a new display which will which will take uh, like 6000 to 9000 um, by the way we reduce the customers expense by uh, by making the small uh, um, small repairing on, on the board and, board and I'm going to end the video right here and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon with some other videos. Bye.